This is a quick tutorial on using conditional graphs in a clothing item and a quick run through on how to set them up. So, conditional graphs are very useful to hide parts and pieces in clothing. For example, in the Mother Goose dress that I've got here, I set up presets that will hide the cuffs, the sleeves and the top with a click of a button. So, if I go to adjustments and under presets, I have hide cuffs hide sleeves and also hide the top. The advantage of using the conditional graphs is the geometry is completely removed until you turn it back on again. So you don't have to fiddle around with material settings and transparencies or anything like that. The other even bigger advantage is you can ERC freeze and morph to the parameter button. So if you hide the sleeves, you can also activate a morph at the same time. So for example, in hide sleeves, if I go under currently used, I have set tighten top sleeve to turn on at the same time, which will bring the edges of the sleeve in closer on the top as it doesn't float as far away from the, cl uh, from the figure. Okay, so how do you set them up? I'm going to turn the sleeves back on. If you select the outfit in the scene tab, go to Edit, Geometry, Add Conditional Graph Modifier. Now I'm going to call mine Hide Sleeves 2. Click on OK. You can find it under Graft. For now, it'll be over there. Now we have to set up the faces that we want to be hidden. So to do that, you select your Geometry Editor tool. And using the surfaces, I already selected the cuffs, the sleeves, and the sle everything that I wanted to have hidden. Right-click in the window, go to Geometry Assignment, and choose Set Order Hide Phases for Attachment. And then choose Hide Sleeves 2, which is the one that you just created, and accept. For it to show up, you have to go back to your normal mode and not, not be in the Geometry Editor mode. So when I click it now, there you go. Um, to Add the let's see to add the morph. I'm going to go to tighten top sleeve, turn it on. Go to graft, select it, right click and go to ERC freeze. Now because I've got rigid follow nodes and other things on this outfit, there's a lot of things showing. Select them all and toggle selected to turn them off, and the only one I want is that one. Um, now for rigid follow nodes, I usually turn those off as well, otherwise they go all over the place. Tighten top sleeve and accept. It's on. Currently used, you'll see that the tighten top sleeve is on. Turn it off. And now it's off. All right. So now I want to put it in the right position. So I'm going to take it, click on it, and drag it into presets. And I'm going to change the presentation content type from none to pose so that you can link so you can activate it via poses and things and then just to make it final a little bit of looking pretty is I'm going to change the color yeah, and that's basically all that's involved in setting up a conditional graft so there's a lot of other users but these are the ones that I'm mainly using it for and I hope that makes it easier for you all to set up your own conditional grafts thanks